News this morning, the weekend weather, winter storm watches have been issued. Now we're just waiting for that snow to arrive. News Watch 16's Allie Gallo joining us with more on what PennDOT workers are up to. And Mindy and John, it has been nearly two years since the Scranton area saw a storm like this one. So it's not going to be the biggest one we've ever seen. But because it has been so long, that is likely why so many of us are talking about it. And PennDOT officials have been getting ready all week, but really it's been longer than that. PennDOT truck operators covering the six counties in Northeastern PA's District 4 will treat more than 8,000 snow lane miles this weekend. That includes pre-treating the roads before the storm, plowing the snow during the storm, and cleaning up once the storm is over. Here in District 4, there are 400 operators driving 200 trucks on a 12-hour shift. PennDOT officials say the storm coming on a weekend and the heaviest snow falling at night is already beneficial because that means less people on the roads. The 511 website also provides real-time information during a storm like this weekend's. It's all controlled through this. The Traffic Management Center in Dunmore turns into the Incident Command Center during a winter storm. You'll be able to see the condition of every major roadway. You can see when the road was last treated. You can see exactly where all the plows are. PennDOT officials say they have been getting ready for a storm like this one not only all week, but all season. All of our trucks ready to go, all of our materials prepared, and our operators trained and all of that has been happening over the last several weeks. Uh, we do do snow academy for all of our operators uh, at the tail end of the summer so that they're ready for every event and all of them are very seasoned operators. And PennDOT officials want to remind drivers that as conditions worsen once the storm begins, they may implement speed reductions and truck restrictions. So make sure you are aware of those if you do have to travel Saturday night or Sunday morning. And if you do have to be on the road, John and Mindy, PennDOT officials just want to remind you to give those plow trucks extra space and never pass a plow. It's just funny it's been so long since we've had to deal with this. So March 12th, 2022, we got seven inches in our backyard, in the WNEP backyard. So about two years. That's crazy. Wow, that All is right. just, yeah, nuts. Yep. <laughs> All right, Allie, thank you.